light check side lights uh, dipped there we go yeah so Ben it's thought there was something wrong with the tractor but he hadn't plugged that in that was a bulb running that beacon Right, it was a few hundred quid to buy what we need for this, but two drawbar pins were like a fiver. Unfortunately, I did forget to press buy on the cramp order yesterday. So they, haven't, they aren't gonna to arrive today, but I found one on the fast track and I found another one. So we're gonna weld them into there like that, cut the end off and then fix these up. Andrew's off, put his looking fur on still. Dad's off for petrol. Me and Ian are measuring the combine because we've got to apply for the dispensation with the police so we've got to tell it the, how much it sticks out the back and how much it sticks out the front. On the form it asks for the axles, uh, number of axles and number of wheels. Is it two wheels or is it six? Dunno. Someone said it hadn't got the same steps as the one at the factory the other day or well the distribution place at Saxon. Uh, it hasn't, um, but that was the only one I saw with that, so I don't really know. Andrew's putting some liquid furt on, and these nozzles, you can change the rate. It's a smaller rate when you're putting lower volumes on, and he's putting a slightly lower, a lot lower volume on the barley than he was on the wheat. But rather than change the valves, we're just diluting it down with a little bit of water. So he's putting 120 litres of liquid furt and 80 litres of water on to make it down to 200. But then we can leave these taps set the same. Me and Richard have just come up to Everton's training ground to remove the grass clippings. So we're using the dump trailer because it's getting near the time of year where we want to start getting the grain trailers ready for harvest. So we don't want to be disinfecting them and cleaning them all out. Well, we do want to be disinfecting them, but we don't want to be cleaning them out all the time. So that's why we use the dump trailer now for some jobs like this. The wrap just gone out. Not just us, that has pigeon trouble. Uh, Everton, uh, is it gonna focus? No, yeah, no. They've got a bird there to scare the um, crows off the pitch. So they've just reseeded. These are the beans that we drilled with the demo fast track, if you remember. Coming up nicely through the clay where we put that drain through. And even along this headland as well, it was quite compacted from a duct that had been put in there but we leveled it off. All right, little bit of grass weed coming through. We should be able to take that out though with some spray. Bit of a poor patch here where it's a bit flooded. That was wet when we drilled it, wasn't it? But rest of the field, not looking too bad. You can see how beans don't like tight soil. See where the, the sprayer went. There's not really many coming where the sprayer drove. And then there's the, there's the middle of the field looking pretty decent. I'd prefer them to be a foot tall at this point though, but I'm sure they're going to get over that moisture they've just had and really get motoring in the next few days. Just doing a bit of, need to clean the lens, but these hoodies are really good for it. Everyone go and buy one because interest rates have gone up and I need the money. Um, I'm just going to weld these washers on so that no one steals the gates basically. on a new gateway. They're all welded on now anyway. My expert arc welding, not. And it's still adjustable. Good job we rolled a feel for him to land on. I think my dad should have washed that, don't you Rob? My dad should have washed it. Your dad? Oh, 
yeah. Looking good. So these are the rails that Richard jet washed yesterday and they're the other rails that didn't need jet washing because they were new timber. Well, I'm not being funny, but I can't tell the difference now. So I think it was worth recycling or upcycling them. Richard's leveled this off a little bit more since, uh, since we've welded the bolts on the gate, tracked it all in nice and tight, just wants a nice rolling, but it is ready to go. We need to put a sign up. It'd be nice to make some sort of, sorry, the wind's on the camera. I'll try and stop the wind nice to make some sort of plinth here that we could park like a, maybe a nice black 936 on or, or just put some posts in to get a sign up um, maybe another one coming so when you go in the other direction you can also see the yard that OSR is nowhere near in flower now is it anyway while we've been doing stuff like this um, and looking at helicopters Ian has put the route and as much details as we can on the Just Giving page. So rather than having all the information in different places, we're going to use the Just Giving page as like the site for the combine run. So on there is the, the route and the road names, stuff like that. We've also been sorting out about the fuel today as well. So Certus Energy, we've got to make sure that gets the fuel in the right places. They're on with that. And NFU Energy, I have another company called Envira Crops. So they're sponsoring the fuel in my car, which is a hybrid. Now, they've also just launched this kind of website game thing. So I did it this morning. And so far, I think I might have the highest score of making a thousand pound in 10 years. But this is what the game looks like. I'll put a link below the video as well. If you want to go on there and have a go and see if you can beat making a thousand pound in a 10 year period. It's, you, you just log in and it sends you an email and then you have to like register. It only takes a couple of minutes. I just did it on my phone this morning. Played the game for the year, for 10 years. Well, not literally 10 years, just like 10 minutes, but it, like, it simulates 10 years of growing um, biomass crops for energy crops. And I made 100,000, so that's what it says. So go and have a go and see if you can beat it over the weekend. Got the Zeri on here and I've got a bracket. I need a bracket on there so that someone can fit just in front of the exhaust for something that we're going to do, that you'll see in a minute. But I need the right piece of metal and some jubilee clips smoke flare bracket let's get a cable back to the cab and see what happens <laughs> sell his <it's> playtime <laughs> Ian's gonna get wet it's so weird. bottle rocket where's he got the compressor on yeah. oh that's quite hard that. <laughs> what if it just blows up in your face I get wet. No, I reckon that's full that. Oops. Three, take two. You can't find it. Bob, I'm going to film an helicopter if it gets windy. On your phone. Oh, no, the head you hit it. If it wasn't for interest rates, that could be a YouTube purchase. Zerion Green Smoke Take One.
the verdict on the green smoke exhaust is we put two smoke cannons on it and then it'll be twice as much green to mix with the black so it still should look green hopefully Andrew's putting the drill away in the shed for a bit now I'm gonna set the weight block off the front of this ready for the 936 and the Zerion for tractor pulling hopefully it'll fit in this shed because this is where it was parked Go on. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Right, that'll do. Andrew, look at that rat by your foot. Quickly do the air amp, uh, sorry, the birthday bump up for the air ambulance. Called out 315 times last month apparently, and the total so far is 34,287. Anyway, happy birthday, Duncan is 40, Patrick is 12, Olivia Roberts is 18, Graham Stevenson is 51, Marcus Pratt's on there, Joseph Garbett, I think it's pronounced, Rebecca Newton Home is on there, only just fitted it on, Taylor Henderson is seven, happy birthday to you, and Julie Pridmore is happy 60th big six oh so happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday it is today not sure if you can see no you probably can't but i've drawn a train on the side of the richard western trailer i want to give a shout out to george farrell as well because he sent me a letter he's dyslexic but he wrote a letter i can understand it perfectly so well done to, to you for doing that and i'm not sure if he sent one to tom pemberton as well um 74 weight block is off it now we're all getting ready for the tracks pulling on sunday is the is the class for our tractors we're going to see if we can head over tomorrow afternoon if we can um the just giving and the route for the combine run is now live and all the details the map and the roads that we're going to be coming down and some of the dates are on it so don't forget to check out the link below also have a go at that game of growing um energy crops see how you get on with it it's uh the link for that is below as well see if you can beat uh, the a thousand pound, I think, a thousand pound, hundred thousand pound. There's the picture, anyway. See if you can beat that in the next over the weekend. Anyway, thanks for watching today, and I'll see you all tomorrow.